How you doing, YouTube? Matt Massa Beer Reviews back with yet another review. A little bit of other half. Time. And place. And all kinds of other things in the form of their Daydream Layers. Um, this is their Citra Cryo Galaxy Amarillo Imperial Oat Cream India Pale Ale. There you go. Uh, yeah. Uh, this comes courtesy of Steven. Thank you very much, brother. You sent me off a box of a bunch of hazies and a bunch of bits and pieces. A little bit of mystery beers. It's been, God, it's been a bit since I've had an other half beer. So, kind of excited to dive into this. A little burping action to sit a review before this one. And, uh, yeah. Uh, other half. Uh, Daydream. I think they're Daydream. That means it's their lactose-based beers. We'll find out when we crack into it. It's 8% alcohol by volume and done and done. Label wise, you know, it's just a bunch of clouds. And, you know, some kind of you know, crazy font that they um, found on the font or some shit like that. So, label's okay. I, I like, I, you know, I bust other half's ass um, about their geometric pattern sticker cans. But I actually do dig them. They have a really nice kind of knack for style. So, as much as I make fun of those cans, I do dig what they do. Yeah. Guess what? It's a hazy IPA. It would have thunk it. A little bit darker than what you typically expect. Not nearly as thick, at least visually, um, from what you get from a lot of hazy IPAs. There's a rich kind of wash of rich, dark kind of orange to it. Decently creamy head. Nothing to write home about. But yeah, a little bit darker. A little bit... I don't want to say thin because it's thick. It's 2C thick, not 3C thick. Let's put it that way. So yeah, it definitely looks the part of a hazy. Let's get a nose... Okay, well, third time's the charm for getting the same thing you got the first two times. There's really not much there as far as the nose goes. Uh, this is ba -ba -ba, um, six weeks old. That is not old. If you think that's old, go fuck yourself. There's a soft sweetness to it. There's a, like, a little bit of like a honeydew melon vibe. Very soft. And it comes off more like um, like ice cream, sherbet-y, sorbet kind of um, fruity sweetness. But it's very small, very tiny, and it's almost the only thing I'm picking out of the beer. There's really not much there as far as the nose go. It's by far and away, as far as a big, hazy IPA is what, you know, you're talking about 8% Daydream Layers. Uh, other half is Super Cryo Galaxy Amarillo Imperial Oat Cream India Pale Ale. That's a lot of words. You expect a lot of, <laughs> a lot of uh, notes and flavors and smells and bits and pieces. Not really getting much. Yeah, that's it. I'm going to dive in, see what she tastes like. Cheers. Yeah. Yeah, man. There is... There is another half beer in there. And by that, I mean, you can taste... There's melon in there. There's peaches in there. It's not a ton of citrus, but you get the slight acidity. It kind of makes you think of citrus. And they're all there, but it's almost like the volume's so turned down. There's definitely got to be lactose in there. Because I'm getting this really nice, creamy, soft sweetness. It's the weirdest beer. One of the weirdest beers I've ever had. Because it's super, you know, well, 8%. It's not super high in ABV. But it just drinks so lightly so quietly and it's it's a well-made beer there's nothing as far as negative going on in it and it's not super impactful as far as flavor goes so you would see or taste any kind of fuck ups or weird bits and pieces about it it's soft it's got a nice soft mouthfeel I'm, I'm talking quieter that's how soft the beer is it's got a soft mouthfeel to it I feel like Bob Ross right now. Happy little tree. Um, yeah, it's got a soft mouthfeel to it. It's got the soft lactose component to it. It's got the soft bittering component. It's got this really melon all the way with a soft peachiness. And that slight little zip of citrus kind of zestiness to it. Everything's soft. Even ABV doesn't come off as 8%. And that's it. But do you really want... Is that what you want from 8%? All those words written on a can kind of 
Uh, other half year? I don't think so. And like I said, six weeks old. That's not old, so don't... Ah, it's past its prime. By the time I put this up, it's probably going to be two and a half months, three months. This is canned, like I said, three, six weeks old, so it's not an old beer. It's just weird. And then it's like... I don't know. It's like you're going to see, like, I don't know, some crazy hair on fire fucking music act. And you go in, it ends up being a single, just a lead singer doing acoustic work. It, it, that's the kind of vibe I get from it. I kind of like it like that, though. I kind of, it, 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 it turns me on in a weird way that a lot of these beers never, have never done so. Because when, I think when I or I think when anybody does most of these reviews, when they go in to talk about beer, we try to go into it with a, uh, you know, with zero preconceived notion. But you're cracking an eight percent, a whole bunch of words, other half, uh, IPA. There's almost like a, a an expectation of what's to follow. Even if you try to push it to the curb, you get that. I'm not getting any of that here. Is that welcome? Sure. Do I want it all the time? No, but in this instance, it kind of works for me because there's really not much else to it. So let's talk about it. Is it one of the better double IPAs I've had as of late? No. Is it one of the more interesting ones? Sure. Am I confusing its its softness in the muted tones for a shitty beer? It's possible. Um, but there's something about it that piques my interest, just not just from it being different, but making me happy on the inside. If you break it down to just a visceral reaction, when I sip it, I kind of enjoy it. So that in of itself, kind of cool. Um, and uh, yeah, there you go. Value availability, you know, it's other half. So, you know, it is what it is. 20 bucks for a four pack probably. And leave you with, if you like what way like this. If you just want to try beer and try interesting beers and try something different, you go into it with the mindset of another ha other half beer, do it. Go in there expecting something and come into it come out of it, I guess you would say, with something a little bit different, and that is kind of beer as a whole. Um, going in um, with either no preconceived notions or, or, you know, you know, foreshadowed thoughts. Why am I saying words? Uh, it, it, you come out expecting or tasting something different, and if that's a good thing and not a, like a sour sideways turn kind of thing, I think that's a positive. You learn something there, man. So there you go. Another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, weird one. Uh, down there if you want to talk about it. Massive beers if you want to check me out doing the social media stuff. Beer Massive if you want to check me out doing the whole podcasting thing. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying a nice little other half jam right now. There she is. Hopefully see you next time. Cheers.